are reptile fogging systems really as bad as what people make out? We're going to tell you all of that, ways you can fix some of those problems in this Swile Reptile Fog Review. Now this is something new we're doing on this channel. We're going to be reviewing whatever you guys want me to review. Providing it's cheap enough for me to buy or I already have it in my collection, we'll give it a review. The top comment down in the description, so go down there, have a look at what everybody else has actually commented. Hit the like on whatever you would like to see. If you would actually like to see something specific, you stick a comment down there. The most liked comment is going to get the next review. But the one we're going to be doing today is this Swell Reptile Fog System. Now I've actually got a few of these and I've actually used a few of these within my collection. And I still do use a few of them. Uh, but there's so much bad connotation around these guys and why they're so bad. People say the humidity is too much inside the enclosure. The humidity causes too many other problems with respiratory issues and stuff like that. And I'm going to break it all down. Yes, having this kind of humidity inside an enclosure can be too bad. Having too much of it can be too bad. Having it in light areas where it's just like a morning dew mist perfectly fine for and perfectly healthy provided we'll move over to the respiratory section now this can cause respiratory issues now why does it cause respiratory issues well that's quite simply because you can see this little tub of water just here well this stores the water it actually stores the water for as long as it's in there so the water in there can actually go quite stagnant if you fill it up with a load of water and leave it for a good week or so it will go stagnant bacteria will grow inside that actual container itself now on this one the swell reptile one it's got a like fogged out sort of color so if there is sun hitting this it's going to reduce the amount of bacteria that's actually grown inside there if that was clear the bacteria will just bloom, it'll grow algae inside there and it won't be that good at all. So the way to clear that is quite simply use clean, fresh water all the time. And you can get various water conditioners that go into the water. This is the one we use, Repti Safe. And we basically just get this, it is a litre of water. We pop it open, three drops or a little bit more. And that does it. You don't need to put a lot in there, but that will condition that water good enough so that when it does go into the fog system, the humidity that comes out of that fog system is going to be a clean humidity, a clean air humidity. Now you don't want the fog, the water to sit in there for a, a few days. I clear the water out every day. I take it off, put fresh water in, and that does it just perfectly fine for me. But what actually is it? So this is the Swell Reptile fog system. So it comes with the hose, the suction cups, that adapter which goes in the top of the enclosure, that comes off, now obviously you can see water in there because it has been used, but that's how we fill it full of water, we tip it upside down, I'll show you that in a short while. We've got the switch down there, now that determines how much actual fog comes out of this system. You can have it on low, medium or high, or you can vary it in between. And behind the back we've got an on off switch. That is basically it. All it does, you get this and you can see this cap just here. You could undo that. Now, loads of other people have reviewed this in the past and it keeps falling over on them and they say it's a big design flaw. I could just do that. The hole's not that big, so I just normally hold it underneath the actual water. But for this case, I'm actually going to attempt to do it with a jug. It's not going to work properly, I guarantee it. Whee, there we go. We put that bung straight back on, just on the top. Just give it a good tie up. Now, you only need to do it finger tight, but then you've got the ability then of just... It doesn't leak out or anything like that. If you have a look under there, you've got a big square hole just there. You've also got a big square hole directly on there. And they just sort of sit on top of each other, just like that. You'll hear it bubble when it's loading itself up. There we go. That's it. That's how you set that up. You get the black bung just there, straight in the top hole. Just goes in finger tight. And then you get that end of the hose, because you've got a normal end just there and a bit more thicker end. The thicker end just sits straight on the top there. That is everything. That is how you actually set up the Swell Reptile Misting System, you, uh, the fog system. You plug it into the wall and then it's just a case of turn it on over the back of the enclosure and you will see the fog will come out. Now the fog will come out depending on what you've got here because obviously you can move it right around to the actual smaller end, the low end and not too much actually comes out. Now when not too much is coming out, that's perfect for some of your smaller enclosures, your 60 tall exoterras. It just creates that nice level sort of morning dew effect at the bottom of the actual enclosure, which is absolutely perfectly ideal for the species at the right time of day. Now you don't want to do this through the middle of the day because in the wild, 
it's not highly humid in the middle of the day. You normally get your higher humidity peaks through both the morning, the very morning, so the morning, dawn, the dusk, through the night. So you, I have mine set on a timer to come on for 15 minutes, first thing in the morning, last thing at night, and in the middle of the night. You can also turn it from the low, which is just there, right the way around to high, which you can already see that's billowing out. Now I have mine set on high for that enclosure just there. Now it's only set on there for the animals at the moment, uh, for the plants at the moment, solely because when the animal goes in there, it's not gonna be suitable for the species, so I won't be having it connected, but it adds the higher humidity for the plants that are in there. I do have one rigged up to my morning geckos, which is just over there. You can see it's just sat just down there. It's sat on that timer just there, and three times through the night, that comes on for 15 minutes, and it does wonders for the actual plants in there. The two, the two suction cups that it comes with, they don't come on the actual hose. The trick that I've found with the hose is if you compress the hose, because it's a corrugated hose, if you can press the hose down, the suction cups will slide onto it an awful lot easier. Another trick I've found with this over my years, if you have it set like that into your enclosure, or see this big lower sort of area, that will eventually fill up with condensation and water and stop it working. You then have to lift it up, let all the water run out of this straight back into the actual fog system. So it's always wise that just sort of have it in an upward scoop. Don't have this sort of flat area, just an upward scoop straight into the actual enclosure and you will not see a problem with it cutting out or turning off. These are used for the higher humidity areas. So your higher humidity enclosures with great ventilation within that enclosure. The great ventilation, the water conditioner helps this to provide an extremely clean humidity inside your big bioactive enclosures, providing a higher humidity for your animals, a higher humidity for your plants, and an all-round better health for everything involved, as long as you use it at the correct times of the day. So dawn, dusk, and once through the night works perfectly fine for all of my animals. And since I've started using it, I've noticed a better production of eggs inside my morning geckos enclosure. So that's a plus. Now on to the plus side of this thing. How much is it? Well, this is the Swell Reptile. It comes from Swell Reptile here in the UK. I have linked up down in the description down below. It is an affiliate link, um, so I do get a bit of kickback when it doesn't cost you absolutely anything at all. But £30. They've got an offer on at the moment, and these are going for £30. I absolutely love them. I would like them if they were a little bit more uh, automated, built into the actual machine itself. However, with it not being automated, there's less things to actually go wrong. So a simple plug-in timer works perfect for me. And having this on for 15 minutes gives a massive boost of energy. Now, I don't like it when it does fill up the whole enclosure full of mist. I don't like that. Solely, it's too much humidity. Getting blasted in the face just like this is a bit uncomfortable. It's a bit... And it's cold as well, so I mean there's a temperature difference there as well. So as long as you do your research and keep the water nice and clean and fresh, you shouldn't have a problem inside your enclosure. Like I say, the top comment down in the description below is the next thing that we're going to review here on Northern Exotics. Peace out.